So when we talk to our clients and we say, hey, what are your success stories? What is the feedback? These are some of the things that we're really hearing from them and some consistent uh, topics and points across the board. So again, OT and ICS management across the, the different environments is something that we see a lot. We see a lot of remote sites, right? We see a lot of different systems coming in, as I mentioned before, that MTTT, like that mean time to detect, that number is going to obviously increase if you have a wide geographical spread. You have a lot of different tools sending in various alerts. Your SOC is getting a one piece of alert from one tool, another piece from another tool. They're trying to stitch and pull that together. It's quite time consuming and it can drastically increase your time to detect uh, a threat or, or an is issue in your environment or a situation. And then obviously it's going to definitely increase as a result, the time for you to be able to respond um, to that environment. So one thing is all industrial sites are unique. Having a technology that can help and give visibility to those unique uh, industrial systems and also into more common IT systems uh, is something that we see is uh, massively beneficial to uh, our clients as they continually adopt new technology. We're seeing a lot more uh, newer technology in ICS environments, right? A lot more uh, vendors are leveraging domain controllers and even cloud instances and things like this. So we're starting to see the merge of more technology coming in to our ICS environment. So having a tool that's very specifically focused on ICS technology and ICS protocols and communication, in addition to a tool that can speak IT, uh, is extremely valuable to our customers that have these wide uh, disparate networks. All right, so when we implement AI, let's actually look at some stats, right? That's one of the things that we always like to talk about uh, in general in this kind of OTICS space are good ideas, good concepts, but some of the times we, we tend not to back it up with facts. So we wanted to share with you today some actual numbers from deployment. So when we see here on the top of the screen, these are our total model breaches. So the total number of anomaly pieces of activity we've seen. So breaches that are fired because of anomalous activity over the course of seven days. And this includes all anomalies. So um, everything from a very, very low scoring anomaly all the way up to, to 100%. You can see week after week, and these are seven day increments. So over the course of a month, you have a substantial amount of alerts coming down um, from over 500 into the 250, so about half. So you're substantially learning the environment and you're getting more and more of an understanding of what the day-to-day -day communication is. So you're drastically bringing down your overall alerts. However, when you look at something like high fidelity alerts or high scoring alerts over the course of seven day periods over the month, you can see a fantastic trend there that you're not getting all of the noise and all of the, the, the distractions that you would get with a typical tool that are sending some of those um, false positives, right? We're breaking down the score. We're going high, very high fidelity anomalies, and we're only showing you the ones that really need your focus. So being able to drill in and focus on just a handful of actionable alerts is very, very, very important versus a large bucket of noise, right? And that's really what we want to focus on. All of the OT practitioners and customers that we work with on a day-to-day -day basis they do a lot more than just cybersecurity every day. They have operations, things to take care of, and maintenance and scheduling and incident response exercises and, and governance and, and risk and compliance activities to take care of as well. We want them to be able to leverage a tool, get the valuable information they need, put eyes on the assets and the alerts that might need some attention, and then get out and go back and do the day-to-day -day operations that they have to do in those facilities. And that's really the focus and what we're trying to show you with some of the statistics and the trending that you see uh, in the graphs here on the slide. Thank you.